Johnny here for Johnny's Car Care and Reviews. So tonight we're going to be talking about the 2022 Ford Maverick and in particular the hybrid. I will touch a little bit on the 2 liter EcoBoost because there's a little bit of in important information on that. Basically that you can't flat tow a 2 liter uh, turbo Maverick, whether it's all wheel drive or front wheel drive, but you can flat tow. That means pull behind uh, an RV, a hybrid Maverick. Now you can't go over 70 miles per hour and there's some instructions to follow. So you'll want to refer to your owner's manual. But tonight we're going to be talking about extra money that you'll get for your hybrid Maverick for your weight. So I've got four points to announce. You're getting more money for your Maverick. Uh, for waiting on your Maverick, I should say. We're also going to be talking about when your Maverick should be showing up. So that's the big part of the news that you'll want to stay tuned all the way to then. Make sure you get all the info. Now, that kind of is really big news um, because it's not just news about when Mavericks are going to be, hybrid Mavericks are going to start being delivered but it's also really big news uh, that I've got, you know, I've got hanging around and I've been sitting on it wondering, you know, am I going to get more news, contradictory news, but it's also news about when you should have your Maverick built if you had ordered before last Thursday. So before, give or take, uh, that'd be right around the 22nd of October uh, last Thursday. So let's just jump right into this. Let's put the pedal to the metal. I'm sorry, I'm still in my work clothes. And that's because I want to make this video before having supper, even though it's you know, all, pretty much 9.30 at night. Uh, I just got home and I want to get this info out. I think it's pretty important. I've been sitting on it for a few days, but I really want to make sure that all the info that I'm giving out is accurate. Um, and I do have, uh, you know, important information to share. So please stay tuned to then. If you like the material, if you like hearing about the Maverick and you don't want to miss a thing, please go ahead, like, and subscribe. That's going to help you not miss out important Maverick information. Of course, you you can probably see I'm a little Bronco obsessed. I have a Bronco, so I cover all sorts of Ford information. So let's just jump right in. So big piece of information you don't want to miss out on is that, you know, I got this not only from, I can confirm that Tim Bartz is very accurate in saying that likely the hybrid is going to be sold out by early to mid November. So you need to get out. If you want a Ma hybrid Maverick, you need to go out and order one, you know, reserve it and then find a good dealer and order it at a dealer very soon. There's not much time left. So that's a really p important piece of information. And that's why I'm not sitting any longer on this, you know, when should you get your hybrid Maverick news? Uh, because I didn't want to just, you know, put out some news and give a date and say, you know, you should receive it by the end of March or earlier, depending on a few conditions that I'll really get into the specifications of that. But I want to, you know, put out information and then bam, you know, a week later, find out that, you know, it gets corrected. So information inside information that I have is basically if you currently already have a VIN. So last Thursday, you had a VIN. That's your vehicle identification number. So if you have a build date and a VIN, Ford is really hard set on, you know, beginning to deliver those in January. So even if yours is already built, your hybrid, even if you're getting built, you know, the first week of November, don't expect it in December. And, you know, Ford's giving out that January date. I'm hoping that they're putting it a little further back and will possibly, you know, have some really nice surprises for some because I think that's, you know, great marketing. I think it's always smart to, you know, under promise and then over deliver because the opposite is horrible. If you over promise and under deliver, people will be upset. So let's hope that, you know, at least they start as, you know, as mentioned early January, uh, sometime in January, sorry, not early January, but sometime in January, the wording here, that I have, yeah, starting in January, deliveries if you already had a VIN number on your hybrid Maverick. Now, if you don't have a build date or a vehicle identification number, so a serial number that's been given to you, well, the news here is huge news is Ford really strongly when they use wording, you know, and of course I'm translating, but when the wording is will, will do something that's very different than 
beginning to do something or hope to do something but you know it's the the plan solidly is you know to have the vehicles built not delivered not delivered by uh, by by end of March but built by the end of March so if you as of last Thursday had already ordered your Maverick uh, you're in the system you don't have a build date you don't have a VIN while well, you should still expect by the end of March to get a have your build date be before the end of March so that's huge news that's exciting news now let's get on to money news two ways to save money First of all, we'll start with the def definitive way to save money. If you ordered your hybrid Maverick back in June, July, or August, you can expect to get 20,000 extra Ford points. That's worth $100. Now, no matter what Ford, new Ford you buy, you're getting 40,000 Ford points, which is $200. But here's the trick. You have to make sure that you download Ford Pass and you activate your vehicle to Ford Pass. And as soon as you have created a Ford Pass client, um, a Ford Pass, um, you know, uh, account, make sure to get your account number, your client number to your Ford dealership because your Ford dealership needs to put that account number with your um, vehicle. So when the vehicle comes in and they're getting everything ready, the paperwork, everything, at some point they're gonna declare the vehicle sold to Ford. And when they declare the vehicle sold to Ford, they need to put in your Ford Pass customer or client number. So how you can get that is you go to Ford Pass. Once you're in the Ford Pass, you know, you create, create an account. And when you've put in your information, there's a little gear as one of the bottom options. You click on that and that opens right up and right at the top, it says client number. That's what you need to give your dealer to make sure you get a total of $300 or you know $200 if you didn't order your hybrid back in June, July or August. Now, moving right, on, right along, here's another way you might make some money. Go to an auto show. If you go to an auto show, you go to the Ford section, you go to the Ford booth and you subscribe, uh, you know, you give them your intel. Hopefully they'll be able to print you off a sheet that you can share with your dealer. But, you know, you need to be in the computing system. They need to essentially log you in, uh, or, you know, log your presence. It's kind of like school. You got to show that you're in class. Well, show that you're at the, at the auto show and there's a good chance that, you know, you're definitely going to have $750 of rebate that will apply to a Ford model. Now let's hope it will apply to, you know, our favorites, the Bronco, the Maverick, or the F-150. F-150s are pretty awesome, whether it's the new Lightning coming out, which who knows, you know, some people will get their F-150 Lightning, of course, if they're very low on their dealer list. You're not gonna get built in year one. You might not even get built in year two, so you might not even get your, your Lightning for 2023. But I think by 2024, looking at what production numbers should be, everyone, I think, will have that currently has ordered a lightning i speculate unless you know you're really unlucky and have a dealership that has you know year one will get 10 lightnings and they're already at 150 well that's a different story because then year two you know maybe they're getting 25 and then year three then maybe they're getting you know 50 or 70 and clearing out their list but Let's just hope you're not at a dealer that has that much demand for the F-150 Lightning, but right back to the Maverick. So getting right back to the Maverick, I wanted to be, you know, really careful with this news um, because I didn't want to say that, you know, for people who have already ordered uh, a, Ma a Maverick hybrid that you should be getting built, you know, when Ford uses the words will be built before the end of March. You know, I know the game ch plan can change and the game plan has changed in the past. You know, originally, I think a lot of us probably thought, hey, you know, they'll, they'll build as many hybrids as they need and hybrids will be delivered just as quickly as EcoBoost. And at the same percentage, you know, we had this, you know, hopeful, uh, hopeful wishfulness uh, with within us saying, you know, if I or whatever I order, it'll get built exactly based on when I order it. Well, that's not the reality of what's been going on with all our transportation problems. Um, you know, no matter what manufacturer you're looking at, you know, Mercedes has closed some factories. Everyone has had issues throughout this difficult time. And that makes it so that unfortunately, 
you know, you're a manufacturer, you'll order, you know, whether it's 10 or 10,000 or 50,000 parts from a supplier for a given month. Well, they might only show up if you order 10,000 in a given month, they might show up with zero, they might show up with 2,000, or you might get real lucky and they actually bring you what you asked for and what you made a contract on. So things have been really difficult. And, you know, even last summer, I was saying, this previous summer, I was saying, hey, you know what? Hybrids, they have a battery, it could slow things down. If supply is really high for the battery from the hybrid Maverick, who knows what will happen? I, Ma Marie and I, Marie Pierre and I, had already lived through delay after delay for the Escape plug-in, which I'm happy those delays did exist. You know, these batteries, if I'm not mistaken, are coming from LG. And Ford obviously wanted to bring out the Escape plug-in when everything was hunky-dory. And well, guess what? They already had uh, the hybrid technology in other vehicles. The Escape was already being produced and delivered when in either a 1.5 liter EcoBoost option, three cylinder or the four cylinder, two liter EcoBoost. And you know, I speculated back then that wonder if it has to do with quality issues on the battery. Now I still don't have proof of that. All I know that is that, you know, GM had a little bit of problems with their batteries and by a little, I mean a lot. Um, and I believe if I'm not mistaken, they're having batteries provided by LG as well. But you know what? That's a whole different story. My point on the whole Maverick thing is, is that this summer I said, you know, there's supply and demand issues for the hybrid that could slow down getting your hybrid. And I also mentioned that not only was it supply and demand, but it could also just be a question of, you know, getting enough good batteries. Now, being that as soon as we started receiving plug-in escapes, you know, I figured, hey, you know what? We're definitely getting good batteries. Ford was, you know, basically released the plug-in escape a year later to make sure everything was hunky-dory in A1, that it was, you know, triple A beef uh, and ready to go. And, you know, that's, that's a lot harder than just shipping something out and say, you know what, we'll deal with the problems. We'll deal with the accidents. We'll deal with, you know, whether it's fire or whatever it may be, we'll deal with it when it happens. I'm not a big fan of that kind of attitude. And I love the fact that, you know, they did delay it until everything was safe and hunky-dory. And last summer, I thought that this could happen with the hybrid Maverick. But here's the thing. Here's, here's the whole point of all of this. EPA numbers are out on the Maverick, on the hybrid Maverick. Some are already built. Some are in the process of being built right now. Why aren't they shipping them out immediately? Why is it that they're gonna start being delivered in January? Well, I think some people would just automatically assume only one option. And as human beings, it's normal. We often only see one or two options, but there's often a whole lot more than just one or two options. So I think what a lot of people might assume is that there must be some issue with the battery. And I think what I'm going to speculate this evening. I have no data. I'm definitely calling this the going putting this in the category of speculation. But my speculation is that they're waiting till January because they want to build enough hybrid Mavericks, have a block of them and then test them. Make sure that the factory is, you know, putting them out properly, that everything's A-OK -okay before they ship them out. You know, I can think in the past, you know, the Mustang Mach-E at one point, they kept a batch of them to make sure everything was hunky-dory. So I think that they're just playing it safe. And if things go well, I think there's one of two things will either happen. Either we might get our Mavericks start, the deliveries might start actually a little bit earlier if enough get built, enough get tested, and they say, you know what, everything's perfect, ship them out. I think they probably built in a buffer in case things aren't just perfect, and they need to make little adjustments before they ship them out. So if there's no issues, I think we'll get them sooner. So I think they've built in a buffer in advance, because I don't see, you know, this, this is the battery from a 14.4, Sorry, it's a 1.1 kilowatt battery like we've seen in the Fusion, uh, like we've seen on the Explore Hybrid. So I don't think it's all that new. I don't think there's a whole lot of surprises to be coming along with the battery. I think they just wanna make sure to get it right. Now, of course, 
you know, I don't just see one option. It could also be that they're holding them back a little longer because there is something to resolve. But when, you know, Ford does use the language of, and they, you know, they emailed this right out to people and the language was deliveries will start in January. So I think we can plan on that. I think it's a good news evening, but I haven't had supper, so I have to have something in the system. And thank you for liking and subscribing. It helps, you know, it helps feed the poodle and it also helps with the adult juice. So thank you very much. Now, I just want to make sure that I have covered everything that I felt was really, you know, important and needed to come out tonight. I'm just looking over my list and that seems like it's everything. If you have questions, comments, concerns, I will do my absolute best to answer everyone in the comments section. Now, of course, if you think my video is complete garbage, you can say it's complete garbage. Um, I can I can take it, um, but try to say why, because at least then I can learn and I can work to make these videos better for you. So if you actually say why, I'll probably actually keep your comment uh, there and we'll appreciate it. But if you just say, you know, if you just, you know, call me um, a cleaning product, a hygiene cleaning product, and don't and say it's complete garbage and don't say why well you know the the, the comment might get deleted so I, I don't want to delete I want to delete as few comments as possible but please try to you know you can criticize but please try to make it constructive so I can make these get this information out to you in a better fashion in a, fa in a way that you like in like and enjoy and you find entertaining more I want to make these uh, videos. I want to get the information out and I got to find a way that you enjoy the information. So this is what I'm doing. I'm trying to help out and I hope that I have helped some of you this evening and thank you very much. You know, as always, I wish you more cars and more power. And I certainly do hope that you get to put the pedal to the metal very soon on your new Bronco or Maverick. Take care.